Hey guys, Nick here, and I have some Black Ops 2 gameplay, playing some Kill Confirmed and uh, using the Vector with the Silencer. And I actually have a really fun kill streak setup. I guess it's nothing too special. I've got the VSAT, um, the Warthog, and Dogs. And this is my favorite setup for Kill Confirmed, um, mainly because all of these kill streaks are. Um, how do you say this? Unmanned. I don't have to like actually use them like a lodestar, so I can pick up the tags that they get from killing people. So like my um, my dogs come in, they kill a bunch of people. I see those tags on the map. I can run up. I can pick those and pick those up, and then I can get more kill streaks. Same thing with the warthog. Warthog comes down, you know, kills like five or six people, um, and then I can go pick up all those tags and you know build up towards my kill streak. And obviously VSAT because. You know, I know where everyone is, I can go towards them, I can, you know, know when there's like four people and know not to go towards them. Um, so yeah, it's a, it's a really good kill streak setup for kill confirm, so you should try it. Anyways, what I wanted to talk about today was the constant debate that is um, 60 frames per second versus 120 frames per second. And like, I, I did an unboxing of the monitor, the monitor that I use for gaming, which is the BenQ XL2420T, which is a 120 hertz computer monitor. And people leave comments on that video all the time that are just like insanely annoying because they're very wrong. And uh, I'm going to talk a bit about that today. So first off, I just want to do a quick explanation about frames per second and hertz because people seem to get confused by this. Hertz is a measurement of how many times something happens in a second. So if you have a 60 hertz monitor, that means that the monitor is refreshing 60 times in one second, like 60 frames per second. So um, if you're outputting video at 60 frames per second and you have a 60 hertz monitor, then you're perfectly fine. There are no problems there, everything goes well. Now, if you're outputting video at 90 frames per second, and your monitor is only 60 hertz, you start to have a problem because you're outputting frames faster than the monitor can display it, and you get this thing called screen tearing where like your frames are cut in half and it just doesn't look good. So you don't want to display more frames than your monitor can display, or you don't want to output more frames than your monitor can display. So now if you have a 120 hertz monitor, you can output video to this monitor at 120 frames per second, and you'll actually see all of those frames. All of those frames will appear on the monitor. But the next question that most people have is, okay, so now you have a 120 hertz monitor outputting 120 frames per second um, gameplay or whatever else. I don't really think anything else exists at 120 frames per second. I guess maybe if you have like really expensive slow motion cameras or whatever, but uh, gameplay is what we're talking about here today. So you have gameplay being displayed on this monitor at 120 frames per second, and now what most people like to argue is, you know, this is no different than 60 frames per second, you can't see the difference, blah 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 blah. Well, I've had both. I've had a 60 hertz monitor, and I've played that at 60 frames per second, and I now have a 120 hertz monitor, and I play it at 120 frames per second, and I notice a significant difference between the two. And th that should be enough proof there, the fact that there's a noticeable difference. But the argument that most people seem to seem to like to uh, give is that the human eye can only see X frames per second. And this statement is just, it, it's so, so wrong. I'm gonna leave a link to an article in the description of this video. Um, actually, uh, just a second here, just a second, boom. I was on like a 40 kill streak, got killed by that car somehow, which blew up from my warthog, which for some reason decided to shoot that burning car as I walked past it. Like, good job, warthog. Um, anyways, I'm gonna leave a, <laughs> a link in the description of this video to an article that talks all about this whole frames per second, how many frames can the eye see, or whatever, blah blah blah. Um, so yeah, just click that if you're still in doubt or whatever, it's pretty long, you can read it if, you know, you're probably not going to, but whatever, go ahead. Um, so yeah, uh, the argument that most people give is that, you know, the human eye can only see X frames per second. and this is just not true because the human eye is not a camera, it is not a monitor, it's not some sort of robot, it's not any sort of digital device, it's, it's organic, it's biological, I, I, I don't really know how to put this, it's, it's 
it doesn't see in frames per second. Your your eye sees in a constant stream of data. So there's not really a limit. Now most people are like, oh, when when you flash a light so fast, eventually you can't see it. I, I don't really care. <laughs> the, hu the human eye does not see in frames per second. Um, there's a noticeable difference between 60 frames per second and 120 frames per second. And while it, while it is noticeable, to some people it may not be huge. Um, now, what I find a big difference is uh, between the two is that 120 frames per second is much smoother because obviously there's less like gaps in between motion. So motion seems much more smooth and much more fluid. And I don't know, it's just a much more pleasant experience to me, especially when you have a fast-paced game. I didn't, didn't like that depth there. Especially when you have like a fast-paced um, first-person shooter and you're moving around a lot. Like I can look around really quickly and actually see things without them going blurry, which is something you can't do in 60 frames per second. Like sometimes I'll walk into a room and I want to check the corners because um, you know some kind people like to sit in corners in rooms. So um, I'll walk into a room and I'll quickly check the corners and uh, you know look for people and I can move really quickly and actually see what's going on like clearly like I, I guess maybe you can see in 60 frames per second but it's gonna be a bit blurrier so um, I find that's where it makes the biggest difference and I don't know to me like I immediately noticed the difference between the two like I, one time I accidentally had my monitor set at 60 frames per second and I knew within the first 10 seconds of playing that something wasn't wrong eventually or that something <laughs> sorry that something was wrong um, and eventually I, I realized that you know my monitor was set to 60 frames per second or sorry 60 Hertz instead of 120 um, actually my monitor is a 120 Hertz monitor but I overclocked it to 125 Hertz because for some reason Call of Duty goes to 125 frames per second when you set it to 120 and yes you can overclock a monitor um, I actually didn't know this until um, a couple of months ago um, what did I see it? I saw it on forum somewhere. Yeah, but you can overclock a monitor. You pretty much go into the NVIDIA control panel and you just set it to a higher refresh rate. Uh, my monitor will only go up to 120, or sorry, 125. If I set it higher, it says out of range, so that won't work. Um, but the, the, the cool thing about this is there's some Korean monitors that you can buy, Cat Leap or whatever. Um, they're really high resolution monitors, IPS displays, and you can overclock some of them up to 120 hertz, which is which is kind of cool because it's you know a, like 2560 by 1440 um, IPS monitor, and you can overclock it really high. So that that's that's cool. So anyways, if you still have questions, read the article in the description. If not, hopefully you believe me. Um, you know, if you know somebody with a 120 hertz monitor and a really good computer, um, ask them to let you test it out because, you know, I, I've shown it to a lot of people and people who play games generally know. Like if you show it to somebody who plays shooters a lot, they'll definitely know. If you, if you show it to somebody who plays shooters at lower frame rates, like, you know, their computer can only do like 30 to 45 frames per second. If you show them 120 hertz, they'll, their minds will be blown by like how much better it is. So. Yeah, there is a difference. Hopefully, hopefully you believe me. Um, you're probably still gonna post comments saying that human eye can only see 30 frames per second and tell me about how Blu-rays are at 24 FPS. But uh, yeah, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Please like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe for some more, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.